Hey everybody, it's Michelle. Um, so I'm going to share with you my two answers uh, to the questions um, uh, regarding the class divided video. So the first one is what is intriguing or surprising about the experiment um, or the outcome? And um, I guess my, uh, I was just super surprised at how immediate it was that the students started basically discriminating against each other and even being prejudiced towards each other. Um, as the uh, teacher had said, it took 15 minutes for these kids to basically change personalities when they were told that they were uh, in one way superior um, and that it wasn't, while the inferior kids, quote unquote inferior kids, were um, obviously discouraged to be labeled that way, the fact that the superior kids acted um, so dismissive and aggressive, um, I found interesting. And I also found it interesting that at least what was reflected in the, in the video was that it was the boys who did most of the prejudicial um, and discriminatory actions um, that maybe the girls didn't obviously break the rules, but they, according to what I saw, not necessarily, maybe it just wasn't shown, the girls weren't the, weren't the ones instigating uh, or fomenting trouble um, or aggression or any of that, that it was mostly the boys. I found that really interesting. And then um, the second was the strengths and weaknesses of the experiment. So um, personally, um, I found it concerning that um, the teacher, I, I think the kids got that it was an experiment because they recovered really quickly from these labels. Um, but I just was kind of surprised. I mean, I guess back then teachers could do whatever they wanted in the classroom. <laughs> and then even if the kids went home and said, hey, by the way, I was told I was terrible compared to these other kids and I was dirty and that, you know, parents just went, oh, well, you know, that's a, that's a classroom lesson. Um, that was just surprising to me as a, as someone watching it. But in terms of looking at it for its effect, um, I found it to be very, um, a very strong. I think that choosing eye color, uh, which is obviously not a biological choice. It's not about hair length. It's not about, you know, it's about something that you can't control and that the kids took for granted didn't matter. Um, and all of a sudden it became a differentiating factor, um, in everything from who they could play with to how intelligent they were to how clean they were. Um, and I really felt that um, when you heard the responses from the students as adults, um, that having had that experiential opportunity of having been discriminated against, um, how that obviously impacted them. And they, several of them said they taught their children that that was wrong. And rather than it just being a um, non-issue, you know, just it doesn't affect me and unconsciously just not having a lesson in that, um, that they consciously brought that into their families. The idea of not discriminating against people, not being prejudiced against people simply by the way they look, simply by things they can't control about themselves. So those are the answers to my questions, to the questions. Thank you.